I'll tell you what, Cole, I feel bad because, like, every time you do these, you get stuck with me interviewing you. No, I'm good, man. I, you're, I think you might be the only one that likes me, so that's cool, man. No, I think we all like you. It's just, like, I'm just terrible at these interviews. And Cole's always like, golly, I got a lunchbox again. Like, no, where's I'm, Bobby or Amy? It's okay. Dude. Hey. I like you. I'm, so what's I'm been going on with you, you buddy? You've been going everywhere? Uh, you? Yeah, we've, be, uh, we've been all over the place. We were out with Dirks all year, and now it's just kind of uh, in the middle of recording uh, my next album. So it'll be out next year sometime. And yeah, just uh, looking forward this year. I think December is pretty light for us. We get some off time, which is something I haven't had much of the past four years. So I'm, I'm excited to get home and uh, yeah, just chill. What are you gonna do for? Probably, your- I mean, not a, probably not a lot. People ask, you know, when I'm off the road, it's just you know, just trying to rest up, recharge. And this year, like I said, we usually work up until the holidays. So to have uh, most of December off, I don't know. I got to figure it out, man. I love to get out and play golf, but I don't think it's going to be too cold for that. So I, I, no, just can, family time, man. So. No, you can go down to Florida or I, something. Well, I need to I, mean, I, I know, forget about that. I, I <laughs> see all my the artists. sunshine right there. <laughs> yeah, I forget about all my artist buddies. I see they're always taking these crazy trips. I'm like, man, I need to take a trip somewhere. So maybe I'll find somewhere warm. That's a good idea. So. And maybe you'll stay downtown? Stay downtown, baby. That's, uh, yeah, that's maybe so. That's my, <laughs> it's my eighth, that's my single now. So uh, just to, yeah, man, be able to do this, release songs is I don't know. I don't know how to say thank you anymore. I mean, it's unbelievable that I've had that much support, and it's just been four years. I have to tell myself that it seems, you know, I've ha- had people that supported me since chilling it. Uh, you know, Bobby, all of you guys. It's been, you know, like I said, that's a big deal for people like me because I'm, I came up a fan. I've always been a fan, and uh, to to know what it's like to be a fan of somebody's music now that I have people that are, you know, telling me their stories, songs of mine they love, and it just, you know, their You Should Be Here story, whatever it is, it's uh, it's touching to know that we, you know, have a platform and, and people are, are listening, and that's, uh, we get to, to say, you know, say things like like whatever we're writing and, and to release them, so. So you've got two albums now, got a new, you're working on another one, right. your third one, so this is your fourth single, so how rich are you now? <laughs> Dude, I, I've been fortunate enough to write every song i put out so far. Dang, that so means my, you're making a lot of money. Uh, man, that means I, you're making a lot of well, money. you don't know how long it's going to last, but, but you got to save it up. But huh? you've also written songs for other people, so you're making, you are like and, a, like. Hey, I've been fortunate of songwriting, and that's crazy. That's why I moved here, because I wanted to make people feel the way I did when I listened to music, and now. Are I you did, good at saving your money? A, I am. I've got a great business manager. I've uh, been lucky. I'm so busy, I don't really get a chance to, to spend anything. i got a place a couple of days, uh, days. Got a place a couple of years ago, and that's been really my only big. So the big first time you saw that you had a million dollars in your bank account, like what was that feeling like? I can't even talk about that. How do you know I have that? I don't. I don't. I don't. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I never even thought that. I mean, that's amazing. It, like, I, mean, I mean, I know my crazy. mom. Like my mom, just to, she still doesn't think I have any money. It's hilarious. She thinks that like the rest of my life, I've always been <laughs> been broke. But I'm like, mom, it's okay. I can get you this. It's it's all right. It's uh, but I'm just as surprised by that as. Uh, but that's why I'm so grateful, man. You're I like, mom, I don't have to look at price tags <laughs> anymore. I'm Cole Swindell. Nah, yeah. Nah, she all gets right, Cole. whatever she wants. Yeah. Look, this is our dumb question basket. Go ahead and pick one out of there. Oh God. Hand it to me. You don't get to cheat. Oh, okay. Come on now. All right. Oh God. What's your most embarrassing moment on stage? Oh, my God. Most embarrassing moment on stage. Probably this past year on tour with Dirk Spentley, and uh, some a crazy fan jumped up on the stage, and I was trying to block her from getting Dirk's is on the end of the, the uh, runway. So I didn't, wonder, I didn't know if she was going to go tackle him or whatever. So I'm trying to box her out like a basketball player, and she jumps on my back. This is in Canada, but <laughs> jumps on my back, and I'm sitting here thinking about – all these pictures being taken and how ridiculous that's going to look. And uh, the picture got out there, and I, I'll have to show it to y'all next time I'm visiting. It's uh, it's pretty embarrassing that I look like I asked her to get up there, and I didn't want people thinking, you know, I'm giving yeah. her a piggyback ride. Yeah, you're not giving her a full mounty. So no, we're not. Uh, we're this is uh, we're just getting the tour started. We can't do it like this. So uh, yeah, but that was it was pretty embarrassing. I've been fortunate that and. Forgetting words, man. Sometimes that's that's pretty embarrassing. But too. I bet but that just, happens all the time, yeah, and then you just take your mic and just stick it on the ground. You, like, you yeah, say, that, yeah. See, you already know. You already know how to do yeah. it. Yeah. You got people with signs. They want you to read the sign in the middle of singing a song, and I wish I could tell people how hard that is to do. You can't do it. So I'll, <laughs> I'll get distracted and forget words, and uh, but that's just part of it. All right. Before we let you go, we got to play a game called Easy Trivia. Okay. What year was the Declaration of Independence signed? Why would you ask me that? 1776? Man, you got it right. <laughs> no, what is it really? It is 1776. I don't know. Hey. Proud to be in America. Hey, here we go. Cole Swindell, <laughs> he's working on a new album. Stay Downtown, the new single. Thank you, Lance Cole, Boss. Good to see you, Cole, thank you so brother. much. Hey, appreciate it. Take it easy, man.